Here's the field, ladies and gentlemen, for the Honeybee Stakes. Number one is Alice Beach, owned by Gregory Tremontin and trained by Tom Amos, Julian Leperu, your rider. Number two, Dixiana Farms LLC's Band of Gold, conditioned by Kenny McPeak, Brian Hernandez Jr. retains the bout. Number three, is, uh, is Honor Cat, one of two runners trained by Robertino Diodoro, owned by John Holloman and Randy Haug, with Harry Hernandez. Number four, Neon Beach, owned by Bloom Racing Stable LLC, and the line racing, conditioned by Steve Asmussen, Tyler Gaffleone, here to ride. Number five, Ida Strutis and jockey Isaac Castillo. Fausto Gutierrez trains for owner RT Racing Stable. Number six, Gary and Mary West Stables, West Omaha, trained by Brad Cox, Christian Torres, your jockey. Number seven is Lemon Muffin and jockey Keith Asmussen. The coach, D. Wayne Lucas, trains for owner Aaron Sones. Number eight, Tappet Janali, owned by Willis Horton Racing, LLC. Manny Esquivel rides for trainer Eddie Milligan, Jr., Number nine, In Just My Heels, owned by Anita Ebert Racing and trained by Ron Moquet, Rafael Bejarano, the rider. Rounding out the field is number 10, Midshipman's Dance, the second entrant, trained by Robertino Diodoro and owned by John Holloman and Randy Haug, Ramon Vasquez. Your rider, that's the field for race number nine. It's the $400,000 grade three honeybee stakes. The three-year-old fillies go a mile and a 16th in about four minutes. Good luck. And uh, Leroff in the Honeybee Stakes. Alice Beach was away last and drops to the back of the pack. Neon Beach up on the lead with Edith Strudis. Tappet Janali three deep on the course as those three are lined up into the clubhouse turn. And Just My Heels four wide joining that party around the turn. On the outside, Midshipman's Dance is running a joint fourth with West Omaha, the favorite in the pink jacket between horses. Lemon Muffin right alongside of her. Honor Cat shuffled back to run in the third last spot. Band of Gold second to last and Alice Beach is the early trailer. Ten legs from first to last, swinging up the back stretch. They've sorted themselves out on the lead. In just my heels is a neck advantage. Edith Strudis right there to hound her from the rail. And those two lead by a length and a half. Tap at Janali in third. Neon Beach goes well in the early stages down the backside. She's a joint third, and Lemon Muffin is three wide. West Omaha between horses, between the two Diodoro entrants, in fact. Honor Cat inside, a three deep midshipman's dance into the turn. Band of Gold still second to last. Alice Beach at the rear still as they charge around the far turn. In just my heels opens up that lead to a length and a tail. Tappet Janali takes the second spot. Ida Strudis under heavy pressure in third. Lemon Muffin claims the third position along with Neon Beach who's behind horses in a pocket. She has run. West Omaha's trying to get outside Midshipman's Dance. Both runners being pumped upon as they swing off the turn in the honeybee and Tappet Janali comes away with the lead. Lemon Muffin on the outside. The maiden trying to get her first career win in the Honey Bee, and she just stormed to the front. Lemon Muffin, Keith Asmussen drawing away, and this is a coming out party for Lemon Muffin. Lemon Muffin, the maiden's gonna do it, and how about that? She did it in a graded stake. Lemon Muffin won going away. Tappet Janali was second, West Omaha third, and Neon Beach was fourth. Dwayne Lucas with three wins today, and this is a big one right here with Lemon Muffin, who won the Honey Bee going away. And now entering the winner's circle, the winner of the 2024 Honeybee Stakes, number seven, Lemon Muffin. A three-year-old gray roan filly here by Collected out of Pelt by Canadian Frontier. Lemon Muffin was bred in Kentucky by Mr. and Mrs. Theodore Custer and Collected Stables, now owned by Aaron Sones and trained by the coach, Dwayne Lucas. That is three wins, a hat trick for Dwayne Lucas today. Your winning jockey, Keith Asmussen. And ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle now with winning trainer Dwayne Lucas, winning jockey Keith Aspison, and the winning ownership group.
and all the connections of Lemon Muffin presenting the Honey Bee Steaks Trophy. Lillian Sella Gilvarg in the winner's circle to present the Honey Bee Steaks Trophy. Congratulations to all concerned and everybody here with regards to Lemon Muffin. I am here with the biggest name in racing, certainly the biggest name today here at Oakland, Hall of Fame trainer Wayne Lucas. You just gave Keith Asmussen his very first graded stakes. Only you could pull off breaking a horse's maiden in a grade three and earn 50 points towards the Kentucky Oaks. You had some quiet confidence coming into this, though, didn't you? I did. I think I'm the oldest guy to ever win the honeybee. <laughs> I think so. You know, I felt good about her. She was dying to go two turns, and I knew it, and I kind of handicapped her. I kept her short a couple of times. I got to give credit to the owner. Aaron Stones called me and said, would you have the balls to put her in the, you know, in the honeybee? And I said, yes, I think that's where we ought to go. And so he pushed me that direction, and I did follow up on it, and I loved it. Well, you asked Keith Asmussen a very important question just a few moments ago. What was that question, Wayne? I said, Keith, are you open in the Oaks? <laughs> Congratulations. Wayne Lucas having a banner day. Real quickly, Wayne, what are your thoughts about Just Steele in the Rebel today? I think he has to move forward. He's doing very well. I think he'll come back in three weeks real well. Well, you've got big stones, sir. Wayne Lucas okay. breaking Lemon Muffin's Maiden in grade three fashion.